Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about UFT tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be getting into understanding how we can interact with the different views of UFT. As UFT comes with more user friendliness features, does have multiple views as well. So there are two different views of UFT when you talk about scripting or looking at the script which you want to run. In fact, these views are also called as keyword view and editor view, where editor view will give you the instance where you can have a look and interact with the script exactly, which is your VB script. And on the other hand, the other option will be keyword view, which will showcase you the same script into a tabular form, making it much simpler to understand and edit. So of course, all the activities can be taken place at parallel. That means if you make any changes in keyword driven a uh, keyword view, that the same will impact the editor view as well. It's not two different windows. It's just that it's a single window, but multiple views of it. Now that's what you call it as views in UFT. So let's quickly get started and understand about the views in UFT in our today's tutorial. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding what are the different views in UFT and they are called as keyword view and editor view. In order to get started, the very first thing is to quickly have a script with us which you can actually run. And here there are various ways of creating the script. In our upcoming tutorials, we'll be talking about how to prepare your own script without recording. So there are different ways and certain protocols to be taken into account to write your own scripts by yourself instead of recording. But of course, before that, you should know that what are the different views by which I can interact with the script in a different manner. Coming up to the basic understanding of the tool, that tool comes with a speciality that this is a very user-friendly tool. That means you don't really have to be an expert of scripting VB to start writing certain scripts. It's just that even if you are a quick new beginner, you can get started working with UFT and slowly get the hold of it. In order to do that, we'll be just launching a quick application to see that if we can create a script and talk about it. So click on record and I'll be just recording right now to show you that what are the various views of the UFT and the difference between that. For that, I'm just preparing a small script where username is John and password is HP. Press OK. And I'm just booking an order, which is like Portland to Zurich, find flights, and select a flight. Mention the name of the user or passenger. Click on order. All right, the order is created now. You can close this and stop recording. Now, in our previous tutorial, we understood about this process already that how to record a script. And of course, you know how to do that. But right now, if you see the script, I also explained to you what's the syntax of the script and how you can read it. Like one can understand the VBS script, what is required to understand what is being prepared here. Now this view where you see the script in the format of VB script is what you call it as editor view. This view, what you're viewing the script as, you call it as editor view. And there is a small toggle button which can, you know, switch between the keyword and the editor view by clicking on this. Now the view you are looking at is called as keyword view. That means that each step of the script is broken down into a tabular form and that makes your job more easier to understand that what exactly each line is doing. For example, if you see this is my parent object, HPE my flight sample application. In that there's a child object called as agent name. The operation performed on it is set and if there is a value involved that is mentioned here and in fact a small documentation that what this line of script is doing that is enter John in the agent name edit box. Similarly password which is secured it says operation is set secure and enter the encrypted password in the edit box. Similarly for the buttons it is click but there is no data involved in click so you don't have anything. Further to continue when you talk about drop down list it says the operation is select and a step to perform that. Now again if I just switch back to the expert view the same thing is there. It's not a difficult job to understand VB scripting for UFT in order to prepare a small script and run that on the application. At the same time, if at any point of time you find difficult to understand that what exactly is written here or how, what exactly is happening at certain line in the script, 
all you have to do is just switch between the keyword view and the editor view and you will be able to know that the line which you selected is all about clicking on the find flights button and in fact a lot many other things can be understood right from here so not only this if you want you can insert a new step right from the keyword view by just pressing the button and selecting the object for example just write this line here select passenger name automatically the operation will be selected which you don't have to worry about you just have to provide the value for it and just hit enter and you're done so keyword views can be very helpful to prepare your script and if I go back to the editor view now you would find that script exactly written the way it was recorded so it is just that simple being having UFT with you and learning that UFT to automate your scripts it could be giving you that interface which can say that it is having a interface to write the scripts if people are familiar with VB script it is also convenience for people those who don't know scripting initially of course to write the control flows you may have to interact with VB script but initially to get started we don't have a condition for you that you should know VB script to get started with UFT you can of course use a window called as keyword view which is scriptless scripting or scriptless mode a scriptless tool which gives you the interface like step by step to prepare your entire script so UFT has combination of both the things that it can be with script or a scriptless as well the other way to switch between the tools or between the views is to click on view and here you select editor so if you are in keyword view it will show you editor if you are in editor view it will show you keyword view where editor view earlier in the previous versions that is QTP was also called as export view so if in case you have worked on QTP before and now you're wondering that what is this editor view it's just the same thing in QTP it was called as expert view and in UFT it is called as editor view because this is where you edit your script instead of just going with the steps so that's the major difference between keyword view and editor view in our next tutorial we'll be talking about how to write this entire script just using the keyword view or the editor view ourselves. So now we will get started understanding writing our own scripts. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.